The following production demonstrates the ideal methods and circumstances to attach a Stein RC3002 lowering device to a tree. The device has two mounting options, the first being the preservation mounting, whereby two compressed rubber blocks are first inserted into the back of the device. The blocks are to prevent any unwanted damage where the device is being anchored to a tree which is to be retained. The blocks should be rotated and swapped around at the start of each working day, so over time they'll wear at an equal rate. The working load limit for the preservation mounting is 500 kg. Any more than this may lead to premature wear of the rubber blocks even though they are easily replaced. The second mounting option requires the device to be cut into the tree, whereby a shallow elongated notch is cut where the device is to be positioned. The depth of the knot should be no more than 2 cm. Any deeper and the accessory lever might snag on the tree when you come to use it. The length of the knot should be 30 centimeters or thereabouts. It doesn't have to be exact. Mounting the device in a notch ensures great stability and reduces much of the loading on the strap. Thus the working load limit is set at 3000 kg. Cutting a notch really is a five minute job. So for the sake of five minutes it really makes a massive difference to the load-bearing capabilities of the device. Setting the device on a tree is straightforward enough, even single-handed. First, a choker is set just above where you want to position the device. Then you hang the device on the choker. Attach the ratchet strap to the device at both ends and pull out any excess slack. Check the strap is horizontally aligned and that the hooks are seated correctly in their slots. Where the strap is drawn into the ratchet, there is only about one millimeter clearance at either side. So great vigilance is needed as you tighten the strap to prevent fraying on its edge. Some fraying with repetitive use is, however, inevitable. If in doubt, discontinue from using the strap and seek further guidance from the manufacturer. Once the strap has been sufficiently tightened, 
Remove the choker from the top of the device and set it through the large attachment point at the bottom of the device. The choker is not load bearing when the device is in use but it is there as backup in the unlikely event of the ratchet strap failing in which case the choker could well save somebody's life. We recommend a cow's hitch above all other knot configurations. Following on from there, the accessory lever can now be fitted. Ready for use. Preferably pre-greased, unlike the one in the video. And that concludes our presentation. Thank you for watching.